Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to create a IAM policy for the S3 bucket restricted folder access. Now, when I say restricted folder access, uh, let me explain this thing with an example. Let's suppose you have a user 1 and user 2. Now your requirement is something where you want the user 1 is only going to upload the data which is user 1 and user 2 is only going to upload the data which is in the S3 bucket with the folder name user2. So that is the restricted folder access. Now for this demo what we need, we need a S3 bucket and the IAM policy and two users. So let's do that and if you are on my channel for the first time do subscribe my channel. So let's start with the demo now. Now here I am in my AWS console. Now the first thing which I need to do is I need to create a S3 bucket. Now the S3 bucket I have already created. So if I go to my Amazon S3, here I am in my Amazon S3 and here is the bucket. Demo S3 bucket. Now this bucket is already created and here I have two folders already created. Now the first folder with the name user1 and the other folder with the name user2. Now the next thing which I need to do is I need to create these users. So for that what I need to do is I need to go to the IAM for that I am going to search IAM and I need to click here. Now here I am here I am in the IAM console. Now here I need to create couple of users so for that I am going to click on add user. The first user is with the name user1 let me click user2. Now here I am going to select the programmatic access. So that means whatever the demo I am going to do, I am going to do it from the AWS CLI. If you want to uh, do the same thing from the graphical, what you can do is you can go for the console password. But in this video, I am not going to show you like how you can do this thing with the console. I am only going to focus on the AWS CLI. Let me click on next. Attach existing policy. We already have one of the policy created. I will explain you that policy but for now I am not going to attach that policy. Let me go next review and create user. Now I have the access key and the secret key for user 1 and user 2 and that is something I need to configure on my local machine. So for that what I need to do is I need to go to my terminal. So here I am in my terminal. So let me open my terminal. So here I am in my terminal. The first thing I need to do, I need to remove one of the credential file for the AWS. So let me remove that RM for the AWS credentials. Okay, we are done. Now the command to configure the user that is AWS configure minus minus profile user one. Now here it is asking me for the access key. Now here I have the access key. Let me copy this thing. Let me paste it here. The second thing secret key. Let me click on show. Copy this thing, paste it here. Default region name is AP South 1. So I will go with the default one. Default one. Done. So we have configured the user 1. Now the same way let me configure user 2. Access key. So here is the access key. Let me copy. Paste. Access key. Let me show. AP South 1, we are done. So I have configured both the user on my local machine. And at the time of the creation of these users, I have not assigned any of the policy. So let me check that thing. So AWS S3 LS minus minus profile user 1. So what I am trying to do is I am trying to list all the bucket which is in this account. And I am trying to run this from the user 1 let's see if i'm able to call no i'm not able to call i'm getting the access denied error message let's try with user 2 the same thing so that means user 1 and user 2 they don't have any access at the moment okay. now the next thing which i need to do is i need to attach a policy i am policy to these two user so let me go to the user 1 and here in the permission i need to attach a policy and we already have a policy created new s3 let me attach this policy review add permission i will explain you the policy don't worry about the policy let me do the same thing for the user 2 first 
add permission attach existing new s3 policy we are done now let me expand this policy now this policy this is the policy let me copy this policy and let me paste it somewhere now if we look at this policy now what exactly this policy say the first one is to list the bucket effect is allow so this is the first policy uh, starting from here and uh, not from here from this one and okay this one is the first policy and the other one is the second policy so we have actually two policy inside this yes now let's look at the first policy so the first policy says the action is to list the bucket effect is allow resource is this now here if i want to list all the bucket what i can do is i can remove this bucket name from here and i can give star here star means that is for everything but i want to give restricted access so what i can do is i will update the bucket name here now my bucket name this is my bucket name which i have updated here okay now there is a condition now the condition is with the s3 prefix aws username now this aws username is a variable name for what for the username so that means this policy whenever i'm going to attach this policy to any user that username is going to change with this so what i mean here if i go to this so here the username is user2 right and here aws username this means user2 so this is a keyword provided by the aws when we attach this policy to multiple user see let's suppose i have this policy and i have to attach this policy to multiple user can i do that no because i need to do couple of changes i need to update the username here and if i'm going to update the username that means i need to create multiple policies that is something i need to avoid now when i need to avoid that thing so i can go with this keyword here now with the help of this keyword what it is going to do is it is going to replace the username so that means if i'm going to attach this policy to user1 it is going to be user1 here when i am going to attach the user2 it is going to be the user2 here okay now the next thing the next policy says we can s3 get object put object that means we are able to get object from the s3 bucket and we are able to put object in the s3 bucket effect is allow and the resource here again the resource name is this that means the bucket which we have just created this this bucket and inside this bucket there is going to be a user folder okay so here is the user folder user 1 and user 2 so i hope this policy is clear to you now let's see now here i am in my terminal so i have attached this policy to both the user now let me go with aws s3 ls minus minus profile user 1 i'm still getting access denied now why i am getting the access denied let me go to my policy one more time here i'm going with a single bucket here i have only provided information related to the single bucket not all the bucket i'm able to perform the list bucket option but only on this bucket that means inside this bucket if we have some folder some data then i'm able to list those things so let me show it to you so for that what we need to do is we need to provide the s3 bucket name here and what is the bucket name let me copy it from here again i am getting a error message now why i am getting a error message because we have a policy 2 as well this is and this is the policy 2 which says we are able to perform the get object put object in this bucket inside this user name so that means i am able to list whatever is there in this bucket but there is one more policy here which says 
then I am only going to list the data which is there in this folder, not to any other folder. Okay, that's great. Now let me try to upload some data first. So for that, what I am going to do is I am going to create one file here, sudo file one. Okay. Now let me try to upload something. I will go with the previous command and in the place of ls what I am going to do is I am going to give cp and then the file name. So aws s3 cp cp is for copy which file we need to copy the file which we have created in the above step file 1 and where we need to copy we need to copy it in this bucket and from which user we need to run this command from user 1 let me hit enter I will get the error message see upload field why upload field because this user is authorized to upload data only in the folder which is with this user 1 name so let me do that user 1 I am able to upload it Earlier when I was trying to upload it in the S3 bucket, I was not able to do that. I was getting upload field, but this time I am able to upload inside this folder, user1 folder because I am running this command from user1. Let me try to run this command from user2, upload field, I am not able to do that. Now let's try to list what is there in the user1 folder. So for that what we are going to do is we need to do a couple of changes. So in place of cp what we need to do is we need to do ls and then the bucket name then the folder name and with the profile user1 I am able to list. Now let me try to run this command with user2. Access denied I am not able to do that. So that means user1 is able to call all the functions which is there in the folder user1. And user2 is able to call all the S3 bucket um, option which is there in this user2 folder. Okay. Now let me uh, see if we are able to upload the data from the user2 as well. So for that, let's see. Yes, we are able to list whatever there in the user2. And let me create one file, touch file2 here. And let me try to upload. So... In place of ls we need to go with cp and then the file name we need to give. Yes we are able to upload and let me go with the list option one more time. Yes I am able to call. Great. And we can also verify this thing from the console. So here I am in my s3 bucket. Let me go to the user1. Let me refresh this thing. I am able to see the file here. Great. Let me go to the user2. I am able to see both the files here. So that means this policy is working fine for the restricted bucket access.